This conference okay. will now be recorded. You have already installed Power BI? Yeah, it is already there in my machine. Oh, okay. I, I wanted someone to install now. Oh. Okay. 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 Anyone else? Uh, do you have a Windows screen machine right now so that we can install? Is anyone else? Okay, right. I will show you. Might be you will install. Okay. Right. No problem. Thank you, Ravi. Okay. Okay, so what you need to do, you just need to go to Google, type in as Power BI download, and once you type in as Power BI download, you should get a Microsoft link, okay, which is called as downloads. You navigate here, please. Once you navigate here, you will get an option to download, okay, Power BI desktop download. So click on this download, or you can go to advanced download options. Suppose I go to advanced download options okay it will ask you okay what is your language you can select in default to english and then it will tell you the size and then x64 setup and the normal setup it doesn't matter you can choose anyone and it is right now telling you the version okay and system requirements it is just the latest machine you should hold windows 8 and above and you should have a decent enough ram okay right and other than that if you click on download directly it will ask you shall i go to microsoft store you can click on it and click on open it store okay then it will ask you an option to get once you click an option to get it will download for some time and then once it downloads what you need to do just the exe file you just need to click on next buttons until the final option three uh, some five six buttons of next will be there and install nothing that would be seriously required for installing power bi because right now it is available on my machine i'm not doing it so it is around 400 mb basing on your inter internet speed it will download but nowadays everyone's internet is better so it will be finished very fast and once it is finished you just need to click on next buttons and it will be already installed no problem okay if anyone is trying and if they are facing any issue they can ask me tomorrow i'll help them out installing this thing not a big thing or if someone is ready to do now we can do it okay i'll park this aside once you do this the advantage of installing from microsoft store is okay you don't need to download the updates again and again okay so whenever there is an update in microsoft power bi automatically the updates will be installed in your power bi so suppose right now how to open power bi is i'll show you you click on windows button search for power it will pop up here okay once i click on this let it open Okay, when you open Power BI, in default it will show you the screen where in Power BI desktop get data or recent sources and your recent most files. Or if you want to open any other reports, it will show. You. And if you want to buy license, as I told you, pro license and premium license. Pro license is ten dollar, where you can publish the reports into server. Power BI service, which will help you update your uh, refresh your data set eight times in a day, and uh, there is a limitation of one file of power bi should be 10 gb only and the server space you will get is 100 gb sorry 1 gb and 10 gb 
and when it is a premium license you get a 10 gb and a 100 gb workspace single file of power bi can be 10 gb so right now you i am not signing in because i don't have a license for your learning license is not required and if there is any update it will show here that i am having a new update available and this is power bi blog forums and tutorial you can directly click here it will take you to microsoft web page but this is all not needed i did not install using this store that's why if there is any update it will ask me to download manually okay so let me close this store because i did not install using store it will tell me update is available when you click on update is available it will take you to microsoft page okay and it will show you what are the latest features that have been installed or included into power bi okay if you want i can share my screen for uh, installing yeah go ahead go ahead sir mohan okay it's good um, that what should i do it. i will make you presenter then you can share your screen Okay. Okay. Is everyone able to see Mohan's screen? Yeah. Okay, right. Mohan, yes. just uh, open a new tab. Okay. New tab. In the new tab, you type Power BI download. <coughs> Click on the first link. Go to scroll, scroll down, left side option, or we had a stop download, first option. This yeah. one? Yeah. You can say open Microsoft Store. Then it will go to the app of Power BI. Yep. Click on get. Hello. Yes, Rajat. Yes, sir. Sir, so what is the difference between uh, uh, 32 bit and 64 bit? That's your machine. Uh, what do you say? Uh, configuration, sir. That doesn't matter uh, for you right now because uh, all the machines will be 64 from windows 8 or above it is already win, uh, like 64 bit machines so 32 bit machines are like uh, before windows 8 wherein we were using windows xp and windows uh, 7 or something of such sort but this one it is all windows 64 only okay that is like uh, what do you say too much of technicality in the background it should not be needed for our purview yeah, I have just one question. Uh, Go ahead. So this this pro and uh, premium license. Premium. This mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. yeah. This is this is just related to the space or any other functionality. Even the refresh apart from the refresh, space and refresh. Okay, if you want to have incremental logic. Okay, I'll tell you one example. Your data set is like uh, you have imported the data. Okay, your data is around 1 million or something. Okay, and you have to run the load every like one to what do you say? Every day you need to run. Okay, and there will be only few extra records in a particular day getting added to your database or uh, csv files or whatever your input source suppose on the first day you had a uh, 1 million records that are there in your power bi fine but on the next day only 100 records got extra added now if you want to in include incremental logic where only 100 records you want to add on the next day into your power bi this incremental logic okay incremental update is available only in premium is not there in pro okay so if you have to use pro what you need to do either you can do it in the database where 
you can include the merge logic in SQL and then you can bring the extra records into your table and you can connect it to Power BI that extra records will start to show or you can truncate your table load your table every day with the extra records and the original records. That is one method where again you can make a direct query to Power BI and you can see your records. Okay. Or you can buy a premium license. You can use this logic and then keep the incremental logic. So all the advanced things where like you have to do high level technical stuff those they have kept it in premium license and when there is more data required then only they have kept it in premium license otherwise everything is available in pro license itself did you understand my explanation okay yeah understood yeah, yeah. so yeah, okay. let it download uh, uh what do you say mohan i will share oh. my screen you tell me once it is downloaded we will continue okay oh okay right i will take the screen for the moment yeah. let me know once it is done okay so once you open power bi this is how it will look okay and here you have something called as get data button okay so let's start with on visualization today that world cup 23 data so once you click on data get data you will have directly csv or database connections or you can always go to more click on more once you click on more because right now i need to make connection into my this folder 6th march folder and i need to pick up these three files world cup deliveries world cup matches points table so what i will do i will click on csv file this is a csv file csv file means comma separated file okay if you are asking me what is a comma separated file you can open this in notepad okay the file will be comma separated if you see here okay or if you open in excel it doesn't make any difference it will start showing like an excel sheet okay now this data i need to bring it into my power bi so i'll click on csv file connect and the three files are visible to me okay i will take one after the other so let me take points table once so it will say i am loading the data let it be Okay. Now it will give you a preview. Okay. Few records like based on first 200 rows, it will give you a preview, preview and it will auto read that this was a comma CSV file because we have seen that and it is saying delimiter is comma, comma separated file. If the delimiter is com colon, semicolon, space, tab or anything, it is basing on your requirement. You can modify, but default CSV is always a comma file. So now the data is looking fine whatever is there in the file it is showing here either you can load the data or transform the data okay let me click on load the data for the moment i will i will choose the transform data option next time okay once i click on load the data it is showing a pop-up that i am applying the changes let it do so it is creating a connection in the model okay only 10 rows were there it is saying it is loaded and now here see uh, in the right hand side under data it is starting sh starting to show that points table so whatever the file name was 2023 world cup points table so decent enough it picked up the same name it is showing as a table and the columns under it okay now the good part is let me open this file for a moment okay now if you see wherever there is a number those columns are already read as a number within power bi okay whenever whenever it is showing a sigma symbol in front of the column okay that means this is a number column right now and there are many ways to understand whether this is a number column or a text column which i will show okay so now this column for column okay if you see in this for column there is some numerical along with that there is a forward slash so it did not understand it is saying okay i i, I will take this as the string 
string means text field so this has considered as a text field this is also considered as a text field and team obviously it is a text field if you see it is mentioning the team name so team name is also in a text field good so it power bi automatically understands what is your column type and if you want to switch the column type i will show you in few moments how to do that so right now this is good decent enough close okay so the good part is whenever i imported some file it is getting read here and it is starting to show as a table if you see this is some kind of a table here columnar table it is showing and then the columns within that okay under data right then what you need to do generally click on file click on save as browse and then might be i'll choose today's date and create a folder okay so today is 6th june 24 world cup 2023 save okay right the folder structure is important whichever development projects or you are doing or testing projects that you are doing or support anything maintaining the folder structure is very important and you should remember okay where i have kept my files if you are working in sharepoint everything so that if someone asks you you are handing over tasks also you should always keep in a proper folder structure right so once you save this this is saved here it is showing i have saved it as 750 am always always save your file so obviously use this floppy drive or click on control s so now this is fine i picked up the first file i want the second file so i can click on get data you can directly choose this text or csv okay and in your 6th to june the file isn't there go to one sec CSV file world cup match points table I have taken the world cup matches will take click on open okay this is the preview so the second file it is starting if anyone has any question you can stop and ask me no problem don't wait until the last so this is the file showing up here this is decent enough this is what is there in my matches table also now instead of clicking on load I'll click on transform data okay it will open the power query editor okay once it opens power query editor now you can make a call which column you want to be read as a number column which column you want to be read as a text column might be we will transform here so in default when power bi opened the file in the background if you see it read the source okay it is reading the source csv document it is under so and so location okay download right. completed okay mon thank you i'll get back to you hmm. when you mentioned data get refreshed at time so it is static or dynamic at certain time intervals can we get more okay uh, one question is there from sam when you mentioned get refreshed today uh, sorry when you mentioned data gets refreshed eight times a day so it is static or dynamic at certain time intervals can we do more often so from where you are pulling your data from where you are storing your data so sam uh, on your question if you are storing your data in database you are writing your end file into a database and you are connecting through direct query into power bi there is no need of refresh so automatically whenever the user uses it will hit the database and it will get the latest data available in the power uh, database into power bi if you choose the option of import your data should get imported from either the database file or the csv file into your power bi then a refresh is needed so it depends on you either you use a direct query or import mode when you use an import mode the data should get loaded from somewhere into your power bi okay like this right now i'm importing the data from a csv file if you want to refresh in the server so pro license give you eight times a day license uh, license for refresh but a premium license will give you 48 times hope i have answered your question okay if you use direct query there is no problem at all okay right now i have connected to this file the delimiter is comma in default it is reading i told you know in the background it is understanding now this is a this is a silly thing which i don't like in power bi so uh, let me open this file uh, what was the file name world cup matches
okay how many columns are there 18 columns are there okay if you add an extra column this will not get added here because it is hard coding it to 18 columns okay in your uh, file in future if you are adding more columns there is some transformation someone told you okay you bring me an extra column of product you bring me an extra column of some entity you bring me an extra column of some calculation like you get me a sales per revenue column or such kind of things then your file you will add that into your data but it will not starting start to show in your power bi why is because already 18 columns is hard coded by power bi which i don't like so what you need to do just remove this 18 okay columns is equal to 18 i've removed i mean whatever like 25 or 30 whatever you see remove that it doesn't matter so i've removed that and encoding is 1252 it doesn't matter and then code style so this is fine now automatically once the data is read if you see in the first when the source was read it is starting to show the columns name column names in the first row if you see season team one team two it is starting to show here in the first row okay so what power bi will do it will read okay i see that there is a header in the first row so it will promote the headers 99 percent of the times it will understand the headers and it will promote and we have one two examples where headers will not get promoted and we will do it as, as an example to promote to headers okay and then automatically what power bi will do it will detect the data types of the columns okay there is an option that was enabled default in power bi i'll show you where to turn off also so it will automatically read okay season because this is a forward slash it is giving it as a text field so some fields it is reading as a text field text field means string field and date is a date field okay match number is being considered as a number field venue is considered as a text something like that and if you see majority of the columns are text fields and then only winner runs and then match number are considered as integer if you see okay any questions until now so this is done you can what you can do i will come and modify the match number to something else before that i need to import one more file i have a so question. once this, yes go ahead yeah, yeah. Uh, since you have removed this number of columns like 18 mm -hmm. 18 number there so there is nothing in between right? there is no you, you did not mention anything and that's why we see a lot of columns have been added now so we have to manually remove those the other uh, no 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 other columns, columns will get added uh, ravi 18 are only oh. there okay 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 mm -hmm. in future if in that yes. file in your source file if you add some mm -hmm. two more columns that is generally common no we do some enhancement in our project we get okay. a few more fields into our database or files automatically it will not get appended you will or you'll feel why my column is missing then you will come and understand it this source this was hard coded to the first time when you connected the file so what mm -hmm. i generally practice also either you connect to any file or something I connect, I come here, I remove that column hard code. So in future also, if I make some enhancements, that problem will not come for me. Okay. So it will be part of the data then? Yes. Correct. Okay. 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 Right. So now this is done. Let me click on close and apply. You can choose any one of the option. If you don't want to say click on close, apply is apply. Close and apply is close as well as apply the changes you have made let me click on that okay there is one more question from arvin how to prepare data actually data is available in our machine but how to build the data sir uh, sir i did not understand question sir can you explain arvin sir actually data is uh, available in our uh, machine sir ah uh, yes uh, so uh, manually how to build the data actually file is available in our machine right or suppose you when the file is available in your mission so data is transferred to power bi ah uh, correct uh, so, uh, so uh, data is not available so how to build the data and how to uh, uh, transfer the data into power bi that is okay me. sir uh, when you are working in any uh, you are the one moving into this field right data field yes. so yes. what will happen now, sir when you are working in the organization in a new team Mm -hmm. you will be suppose you are working in some finance project assume or sales sales project assume okay 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 
what they will do they'll put you in a team they'll tell you okay boss you need to work. you are a power bi developer they will tell you uh -huh. you are recruited then they will tell you what is your source okay once uh -huh. you join either uh -huh. you will join as an analyst or you will join in a senior position basing on you, whatever uh -huh. you have given interview okay the expectation will be different if you are an analyst they will tell you some senior will be there for you okay this is the database this is the table you need to connect to this and you need to build a power bi dashboard or if you are uh -huh. joining in a senior position they will tell you uh -huh. okay you have to build this report they'll give you the final report something like whatever i was showing yesterday that virat kohli dashboard and everything they will show you my visualization is like this in my mind okay, okay. you speak to data okay. team they will tell you you speak to data team go okay. and ask them where can i get the data from so when you okay. speak to the data team who is maintaining tables and all they will tell you okay this table will provide you this data but it is not that straightforward that it is readily available that data will be there in some 10 different tables which you need to bring into a single visualization how you will do that is we will learn in this program that we are doing for 25 hours like how to transform data how to join the tables how to how to get them into a single visualization all those yeah. you will learn okay, okay. okay. so yeah. right now if your question is okay abhishek how did you get this data of 2023 world cup i did it in Google. I researched where could I find the data. I I I went through. Uh, what what if I take this example? Will I be able to correlate with my candidates who are joining for this course? Okay, that's why I'm bringing this data and making the visualization. Okay, right. So now two tables. I could load the data. Now it is starting starting to show here World Cup matches, World Cup points table. Okay, and as I told you. Power BI automatically was detecting the data type. This is match number is a number and then winner run, winner wickets and then date column is showing as a date. Good. One more one more sheet is pending from me. Get data. Okay. You can go here as well. Text or CSV. Connect. Sixth March. One more last one is missing is delivery table. Click on open. Okay, now let's click on transform data one more time. I want to do a few things. Okay, match ID is coming up as a number field. Okay, and then season, start date, venue, innings is coming as a number field, ball is also coming as a number field, decimal. If you see 0 0.1 is coming as a decimal field. Okay. If you see here 1.2 means decimal right and then runs extras whites one two three one two three it is showing means number field abc means text field if you guys are unable to see you can tell me one two three number abc text field 1.2 is a decimal field okay right now this is decent enough let me close i will tell you where is the problem if i don't change match number to a text field click on close Okay, now my delivery table is also important. All the three tables are starting to reflect here, right? So as I told you, number field will come with a sigma in front of it and the text field will not hold anything and date field will have a calendar symbol. Okay, if you see the file was last saved at 750, I did not save this file after importing this data. Always click on this floppy. Okay, this is saved now, 8.3. So Mohan, I want you to share your screen so we can finish installing Power BI. I can come to this. Okay, give me the presentation. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, I have made you. Yeah, uh, go to the folder where it is downloaded. No, might be in your downloads, it will be there. You found oh, can, it, I click, can I click open? 
Yeah, I I am unable to see that screen. So if you can do, yeah. Ravi yeah. is asking a question. Yeah, uh, did it did it open, sir? I don't see that screen. I see only your. Oh. Um, I... Might be you are doing you are using multi screen. Click on share and choose the screen that you want to select. At no, the bottom, share button. You are sharing. Okay. This is oh, your okay. screen only that I'm seeing. Ah. Click on share. Choose the other screen. Share something else. Okay. Yeah. Choose the other one. Entire screen is there, no? And then you can share entire screen. It's okay if nothing is open. Because that Windows installer will come up. Yeah, right. So go to your downloads folder. Downloads. Yeah. Sort it by date modified. Second column. One more time. Let us show you. Three eleven one. Okay, did it install? Did it download in some other location? Just go and check uh, where no, was it. No, I don't know how to check it is. Uh... Okay, open. Click on open. Click on open this one. Whatever you have done. Yeah. When we aggregate decimal and currency, will we show the same result or will be a small gap? Can you ask me oh, what it? Yeah. Does? What I mean is, what I mean is, uh, when we aggregate, when we sum the columns, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially when we convert these numbers into decimals or by or currency, you know, this mm -hmm. sum of the if I if I drag and put it on the card, will it show the exact mm -hmm. same result or it will have some because it'll, it'll, it depends it'll, on, it'll, it depends on your uh, co company's uh, end of the day if they are okay okay with some tens hundreds of dollars as a round off uh -huh. it doesn't matter much but if they are very particular okay. if you take until three four decimals it wouldn't give you uh -huh. much of a problem so. So it it is up to us that how many decimals yeah, yeah. we want to keep. Correct. It is up okay. to your boss. End of the day. All right. Okay. So now, or uh, if you go to that uh, Windows uh, screen, this one, Windows app screen, Mohan. Yeah. Windows apps. Mm. Windows where you clicked on open, no? Win you where you clicked on open Windows apps. No, no, no. Oh, oh right, right, right. Very. Ah, uh, yeah, correct that one. So he downloaded the software from here. Once, once that was downloaded, it is automatically installed in apps, <laughs> Microsoft apps. So once he clicked on open, if you go back to Power BI, you can minimize this. So there was no need of installing, clicking on next also. Directly it opened for him. So click on home. Okay. Now click on blank report, Mohan. So he is seeing, starting to see see the same screen as mine. Okay. If you download through Microsoft Apps, you just need to download, and once it is done, you just need to click on open. So this will open for you. Now the good part about Moon's installation is he has done it using Microsoft Apps. So whenever there is an update in Microsoft, he will have the latest most version. If you click on Help Moon, Help button on the top ribbon. Yeah. Mm, one second, you should have the version here. Click on support. About should be in about. About about yes. Yeah, you see two point one two nine point one two two nine. So May twenty four release. He's already holding the latest version. Okay, let me pull back the screen. Okay, thank you, Mohan. Oh, okay. Everyone try it. If it doesn't work, you can ask me tomorrow. I will help you out. Not a big thing. This is very easy to install. Also, might be an anaconda or something. You need my guidance. Okay. So right now, this is my this thing. Help about. So I am still holding November 23 version because I did not install through Power App, Microsoft Tabs. I have to install every time manually. Okay, I did not update it. I I kept it like that. Okay, right. So now I have all the three files which are required for me. Okay, <clears throat> this is the report view. The second one is the table view. Okay, in the table view, if you see, I am seeing all the three tables here, and here also I am seeing all the columns. Good. Okay, you can just verify matches. Points table. 
decent enough and then the third one is model view okay so right now when i imported the data the good part is power bi already made one join here okay points table with matches table it has joined team with the team even though the column name was different team and team one power bi what it will do it will automatically read the data which is imported in your data set into your power bi and then it will understand okay which is the common column okay and it will make try to make the join on its own so if you see let me open this points table and open matches table is already open okay so this team column is joined with team one column okay column b here is joined with column b here automatically because it is holding similar data india south africa australia new zealand and everything england pakistan afghanistan and everything right so what has power bi done it has already joined the data and if you see the cardinality it is starting to show as many to one i'll explain on what is one to one many to one no don't worry on that so now among these two yeah. files yeah someone is asking, having a question okay so suppose in points table i select india similar way in this table also matches table also i will select india okay what is the direction of mapping if you see it is going from points table the arrow is towards matches table if you see the arrow is pointing towards matches table from points table it is going into matches table okay let left to right let me switch that okay from points table it is going into matches table how many records are there for india here one how many records are there for india here many like five or six one too many you see from points table it is going into matches table so the relationship is one to many or many to one that is what it is showing here okay and it is saying cross filter direction is single i'll explain you what is cross filter direction single and both okay and there is an option already checked here called make this relationship active click on okay okay so if i go back here open relationship editor now this is a thick dark line where the relationship is enabled if i remove this make this relationship active it will become a dotted line your relationship will be there but it has been removed for the moment because you have removed your relationship between both the tables why relationship is useful how to bring both the table both the data into a single visualization that we'll see so for that sake what you need to do open your relationship editor and then make this relationship active okay now then one of you might be arvind will ask me sir uh, why delivery table did not join with the other two tables is there not a co common column right so let's see okay this is my delivery table okay uh, for the sake of time i am already picking out the column it is venue okay and then in matches table is there a common column no points table it is not there in matches table it should be there okay so the venue column is present in both the sheets if you see column f in matches table and column d in delivery table okay here you see f column here d column 
right why did it not join automatically venue and the column name is also same venue with venue but at least here it was team and team one if you see the join it is team and team one still basing on the data it could understand it would make the join but now why in this one it could not make the join here in venue column heading is there here also venue column heading is there that means small case why power bi did not understand can anyone guess i am showing you the data why it could not make the join observe the data clearly if you see this record with this record narendra so because it has many to many maybe because of that no. maybe it is left up to the user no you could you could see the because data here the... Yes, sir. Yeah, the text string is not equal. It's saying Ahmedabad at the end in delivery table. Correct. But it is so as I, correct, correct. You are bang on. So now, what happened? I told you, even though the column name is same, Power BI, what it will do? It will run through the data. So now you see here it is Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad. But here it is Narendra Modi Stadium. So what? what will power bi understand it will not understand okay this is equal to this because the data set is not exactly matching to this so okay it could not make a join it said okay i have something extra called amazabad and comma i don't understand this with this so now it is up to the user as uh, i think ravi told we need to go modify the data set to modify both the columns to be equal so that we can make a join so what i will do i will trans click on transform data here so it it just not read the uh, name of the uh, of the column but also the data go and see data, data it will read through the data more than column it will read through the data ravi if you see even the first join it made it made with team and team one even the column name was different it could understand the data yeah. hmm. that is what now, i was thinking how did it yeah okay that's that's the beauty about power bi you know <laughs> great okay okay now what was the problem for me when you column i am having something called amadabad extra all right so what i will do i will split the column into two columns so how I, how you could do on the top only you are you are seeing under home split the column click on this i want to split it by delimiter comma okay it is defaulted to space but minus comma choose comma okay each occurrence of the delimiter click on okay now my co column is split into two so what i will do i can rename this into venue you can double click here rename to venue and you can do one more way is like go here do you see rename do you see it yes i see it rename this to city okay so i i did three steps now previously if you noticed when i added this delivery table it was until change type only now i did split by column by split column by delimiter i did the change type it automatically changed the type of the two fields into text because both are text fields and then i renamed the columns the first column venue when i renamed to venue and the second venue to column i renamed to city now the beauty thing about power bi i know the most beautiful thing about i i like about power bi more than tableau in this case is all the steps which you do will get recorded here and as a developer of power bi what you can do you can write your notes here you can say okay go here rename i split uh, this uh, venue column split i will write a simple notes then this one rename auto change auto type this i did not do anything then i re renamed the column venue column rename so how many ever steps you do it within the data set those will start to get recorded here that is a beautiful thing right after one month two month or six months you have downloaded you have published you have to do some enhancement you can come back here go to your transform data and you can see your steps and looking at the this small simple comments only i will understand what i have done here i will not forget okay so this is a good part any question here until now so what i will do obviously whenever you do some changes click close and apply
okay now it will say i'll load the data just give it a moment okay now after you transform the data it will not automatically read it so it is on you now to join venue column with venue column so pick your venue column go here you can drop it and we will modify the relationship let me drop it over there so i have chosen venue column here where is venue column mm -hmm. uh, here venue column at the last i am choosing venue column in matches table i am choosing venue column in delivery table now both the data set is looking similar and obviously it is having many records in first sheet with many records in the other sheet it is showing many to re many relationship cross filter direction i'll explain make this relationship active that's what i have made an effort no i want this relationship to be active click on okay okay so now it is showing start to star relationship many to many so the join is done all the three tables i could make the join any questions anyone okay right so this view is called as model view where you can see all your tables you can make the joins okay and this is the table view as i told you you can see your data and add a few columns which i will help you out no problem now let's try to build a simple points table okay this is visualization report view okay so if i want to add take it very straightforward like okay i want to take matches i am just selecting on the column automatically it will start to show here i want to see the team okay i want to see the ranking okay i want to see the points i want to see run rate i want to see how many matches they have won how many matches they have lost so right now what is this matches field in matches points table let's go to this i need to understand my data set right you can go here you see matches is nine it is always nine and it is starting to show so that doesn't total number of matches is nine matches per each team i'll remove this column not needed for me okay team is needed ranking is needed points is needed run rate is needed how many matches they have won how many matches they have lost right so now let me close this sheet right now even though it is a number column this ranking column points table column if you see these are starting to show as sigma symbol is lost right these are not starting to show as a number field these are starting to show as a string field suppose i want to see ranking i will click on this ranking it is showing as a whole number right but the ranking is not getting added here okay why because i want it to be that way only but if you click on sum number field will get added okay if you for points also if you want to click on sum okay you need to click on this downward arrow under visualizations your column name you go here click on sum okay and automatically the column is starting to reflect okay but I, I will not add the ranking column so it should not be don't summarize only this is useful sum and all when we are doing sales revenue and then uh, like how much uh, sale we are making sales before discount sales after discount all those columns and then i will clip it to don't summarize i think this was asked by ravi and there is one more question how can we add additional data on the fly to existing three tables you mean to say sharma like that you want to do some transformation on the column or you want to bring an extra column into your data set you can answer that you want to bring an extra column into the data set or you want to do some transformation and keep the column in in our data set you can answer i'll explain extra column okay you want to do transformation right so then what you need to do you need to go to your modeling 
and then create the new column which i will show in our data set only in further steps like i want to create a six column boundaries column all those we will do transformation and bring the column okay right so now for this one here team ranking position so i should i want to know how many matches they have won in the second position okay hold your column drag it above one hold your column move it to last okay and then ranking let me keep it in the first okay and then points table points is fine it is in the uh, correct position run rate is at the last position right now this table is created okay but i want the ranking column to be in ascending order okay click here sort by ranking okay it has come in descending order netherlands is showing in the first place but i want india to be which is in the number one position to be in the first place so what you can do click on three dots ascending order this is how simple it is to create a simple visualization now this visualization is a table visualization any questions anyone yeah this don't don't summarize is not there for the matrix i, I think i was checking now okay okay hmm. Okay, if you want to let me because you have asked this question, I will not put an effort to add one more uh, like this, uh, Ravi. Generally, yeah, yeah. what I do. Okay. So what I will do, I will copy this visualization, paste it again. It will become a duplicate. So I will go and click on the visualization that I want to make. One second. Click on your latest visualization. Click on summarize. So now here, you see, when I have choosed on, you have, you are talking about matrix only, right? When I've choosed on matrix, yeah. so the teams have gone into columns. Okay. Mm -hmm. It depends on the rearrangement now. So suppose I want okay. to keep teams here and then suppose points I want to keep here. Okay. Uh, or let's remove a few columns and get it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now Afghanistan, I want it in values okay it is showing as yeah. count in default yes but i want it as sum no yes but we don't have yeah we, we don't, don't we summarize why why yeah. because this is matrix is a summarized data table you are intentionally using this for summarizing the values field so when you are choosing matrix table no in default the options available will be all data related fields okay like a sum average maximum minimum count distinct standard deviation mean median mode but in a table you want to show the entire data set either you want to sum or you don't want to sum okay, okay? but when you are choosing a matrix field it is an intention that i want to show summary of data that's why it will be already in data fields so here you need to modify your columns like what you want to see in teams what you want to see in columns what you want to see in see in values okay we will explore more on matrix because we have a lot of data sets like data mart of uh, like stores amazing mart we will explore that in that session okay any questions ravi great thank you yeah right hello so now this table is yeah go ahead sir yeah sir please change in average some of points okay it will start to show same because your column uh, is holding I, only I one have, value. I, I have one question. Then to, in, in total, uh, average of some points will calculate mm. some of the you values. Do that. How? You don't want to do that. Correct. This will give How? you average only, sir. This will give you average value. Now you average these values, no? The, I, do, I, need to, uh, I, need, uh, I need in total some of values. How? Okay. Show us. You need to create a measure for this, okay? And mm, get that measure into this visualization. Automatically in default, when you choose average, it will start to show you average. Mm. You understood, no? What I'm saying, you need to create a measure, okay? Which measure? And which measure, sir? Which measure means, sir? You want, you should use calculate, sir. Calculate measure. Take these values, create a column, 
and start to show here. You should bring it as an extra column and show it here. If you have to fix that patch. Okay. okay. We will see when we go to measures topic where we need to bring an extra row, extra column. We will put it over here and then it will start to act like that is a column which is present in Power BI, but it is not. We will create and we will put it over there. Okay. Yeah. So, right. Now, this table, I will duplicate. Okay. And I will, what I will do, let me remove run rate points. Number of matches one I want. Ranking I don't want. Okay. Suppose in this visualization, I want to modify to a column chart. Okay. Arrange your axis. Just a moment. Okay. Now I want to see the number of matches won by each team. Like India, it should show nine. South Africa, it should show seven. But what happened? It is showing everything as one because the aggregation in Y axis is count. I have to change it to a summary aggregation or a maximum or a minimum. Suppose I choose summary. You see, it is starting to show India nine. Australia 7, South Africa 7. Okay, so it is that easy in Power BI that I just duplicated the visualization and I just removed the columns which are not necessary for me and then I moved my X axis and Y axis. So my X axis is team column and my Y axis is like suppose right now the data set is holding some on one, that's why it is showing nine times India as one. Suppose you want to enable data labels you want to see here but i want to see position inside okay and you want to see make it a little bigger and bold we can play with formatting formatting is a very thing very easy thing and i will show you how to format data so that is how you can easily make charts within power bi and visualizations you just need to play with data that's it once you build your report models model view Playing with formatting is very simple in Power BI. Okay. Thank you for joining today. We will meet back tomorrow and we will enhance sir, our I'm visualization. And we'll work. Go ahead, madam. Sir, these are final data sets. Assuming there will be no modifications, but uh, when you are working on any financial reports, there will be quite often uh, interim or budget releases will be there. So all mm. the time, we just need to refresh the data or because we are loading in our... Uh, local system so the same step uh, same step should be repeated quite often yes madam I mean, so what you will what you will do no madam all the transformation you should write in your transform or else you should create your measures madam your input data set is always common no madam like same file you are connecting to power bi or you are uh, enhancing your file anytime all the time ways to enhance the files adding extra columns or if you want to remove the columns you, which we want on the right page. you can do it in power bi madam we will create a standard. No, suppose right now in this, I don't have a six column. I don't have a boundary column, which I have to create. Once I create this column, my changes original... in data also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, madam. But your columns will remain same. No, your your revenue column is always same. Your sales column is always same. But the transformation you will do it within Power BI, and the data original data set what you are connecting to Power BI is same. Your transformations are available in Power BI. It will start to reflect as a data set which you are building, right? You understood my logic? Yeah, got you, you understood. No, your your columns are same, no, madam. Your columns will not modify, right? If your columns are modifying, then no no one can do any automation or visualization. Okay. Because got columns it. will be same. Any any company, your revenue column, your customer number column, your customer name column, column is always same. Once you connect that data to any visualization tool, you would have already done some or you have you would have already done some transformation on your data field and it is showing data so tomorrow also the same file will be connected to power bi or a new file you will connect but the input data source should be same 
if you are modifying your data source original data source then you should modify your power bi accordingly okay got it yeah. hello yes madam uh, sir actually i would like to practice this today so um i will, uh, I will dump it and drive madam i will dump it ah, and okay. drive okay and then uh, yes go ahead madam yes yeah, so it has all the data uh, right the the data which you have used now i can use the yes, same sir. right yes okay. as it is you can try to do but i think uh, you should uh, i will speak in the group i will tell them i think once the payments are done only they will share the drive with you might be that is with the institute and you that you need to decide okay, okay? okay. yeah but but i'll load it into drive and share it with them they will give it to you no problem okay sir also i have one doubt um so what is the level of this practical sir like it's entry or you have four years of experience you so. will you will go from basic right now what i'm showing is very basic you, you okay. will go from this level to advanced level okay advanced you, you will do it because you will you will be able to do when we go to advanced because i have had students in past who were non coding background nothing they know about any visualization but they could do what okay. i could do and they could do better than me okay 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 all right uh, are, are is this institution is providing any placement assistance that you should ask the institute madam i don't have an answer for that okay okay all right all right sir thank you rajitha i think you were on hello yes yeah. yeah for learning this power bi right we should have prior knowledge of sql and pandas or no madam no madam power bi you don't need any sql knowledge but but is it better the, if we have in the due course in the due them? course yes correct in the due course if you learn power bi madam it uh, hmm. like sql and uh, python it is good for you uh, in a career you should if you are if you are looking at a data field okay data analyst data scientist or whatever it is minimum basic will become sql database connection okay you should yeah, know I'm python for programming i no, completely no, no. i'm saying hmm. if you are aiming for that i am telling hmm. you what would be required sql python one visualization tool one cloud one data transformation tool if you know these five and if you are in future learning about machine learning and all no one can stop you but minimum basic would be power bi for visualization sql for database connection at least you should learn how to write select queries oh so if uh, we have to learn this power bi also we should know little knowledge of writing the queries and all uh, not a 100% statement With, without knowing sql also you can do power bi oh but okay. if you know sql it is an added advantage for you easy for us something like yes that. it is an advantage okay. not easy okay. power bi in itself can do everything madam you will understand how it is playing a trick right now see how much time i could take within no time i could make any many things yeah only uh, using the table we are doing this transformation mm. so everything correct okay okay thank you any other questions uh, hello i'm nitesh yes sir yes sir how many class we take the dax i mean dax i will teach you like 7 8 hours sir that is the most time that i spend and i don't know whether you were there yesterday one second hmm. were you there yesterday no today i joined actually okay one second so i have written the dax in low complexity medium complexity and high complexity if you see 171 lines this will be more than 100 formulas my majority of the time that i will be spending is in dax because i want people to learn what is actually per i don't want to color format major of the things like i don't want to make it beautiful you see formatting is very simple anyone can yes. do but writing a dax is difficult that's why i do most of dax i will share this document as well but i will teach mm -hmm. you everything in this in this sheet Okay. Uh, um, one more question. I mean, uh, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, you will cover about like a power uh, power services also, right? We after we completed everything and then we publish the power services and mm -hmm. power report. 
kind of thing that for uh, once we publish i don't have the license to it i'll show you how to make the security and all enabled over there i'll show you how to make refreshes and all those things but uh, on the server if on the service whatever we want to do i don't have a license might be that is a single simple thing like 5% of power bi which will be left out but i mean that like should a... be there in the service once you publish yeah go ahead go ahead oh. ask me after that we have the some security kind of things na when you yeah, yeah i will teach you role role level security dynamic role level security everything i will teach you that that is what i'm saying i will teach you all those okay okay anything else anyone But don't hesitate i think we i will do justification do what i teach it's up to you you take a call okay thank you then hello uh, yeah go ahead sir shivam yes sir yes uh, actually um, i am a fair user i know of, about i am an intermediate user in power query and i do mm-hmm. a lot of uh, transformation around 15 20 steps or uh, maybe even more than that mm-hmm. uh, but uh, uh, what i have found is a, it's a pain point because it uh, becomes sometimes uh, it too much time consuming Mm. Yeah, yeah, loading the data into Power BI and all. So, mm. uh, what would help me more, the, using pandas for transforming image in Power Query or using DAX? Uh, do you use database, sir? Uh, I'm starting to use one. Uh, earlier, okay. it was all based on Excel. Okay, one one suggestion I would give you out of experience. Mm. you treat power bi as a visualization tool sir don't take it for a transformation okay and if you are going to use database i would say write your transformations in database let it handle the power of transforming things okay, okay. then finally once the transformation is done you bring it to power bi and do the visualizations here do simple transformations in power bi do simple measures in power bi because it is a visualization tool right but if the data set is small whatever you can do power bi will be fast only but if your data set is big don't trouble power bi by connecting to such big data sets do your transformation in database okay that is what i do also practically i as i told you i handle millions of records i play everything on database and i connect to power bi simple transformations like a throw away things immediate things i do it on power bi okay So, so but just it's not that you should know all this. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Uh, just wondering I mean, how you do it. I don't know, but uh, how uh, does that change the structure of tables or add another table in the database itself? Yes. What I would thing? encourage you. You should always have multiple source tables that you will have, and once you do, you should create intermediate tables, sir. Like transform okay. few two tables into a single table. You create a view. on top of it again from that multiple intermediate tables you you try to create a final table where you are bringing all the data sets together and that final table if from six tables you are making a single table okay by doing transformation that single table but that final table you connect to power bi okay so what will happen power bi is always connected to that direct table it is connected to using direct query you don't need to struggle much because data pulling is very simple for power bi but data transformation it will struggle Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes. Yeah, thank you, sir. Anyone else? Anything? Okay. If nothing, then I will call it a day. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Bye, bye.